pocket. Mumbai is one of the richest cities in India. With its gleaming skyscrapers overlooking the coast, real estate here is among the costliest in the world. But the city's basic services and infrastructure, like garbage collection and maintenance of sewer lines, continues to depend on archaic methods. For thousands of sewer workers, working conditions have remained virtually unchanged for over a century. Armed with little more than a helmet and some coconut oil, these workers enter the manholes to unclog the waste. Connection <laughs> Each day, Mumbai generates enough sewage to fill four and a half thousand Olympic-sized swimming pools. Mumbai has more than 50,000 manholes. With each one these workers open, there are potential dangers toxic and deadly fumes of methane, nitrogen, ammonia and hydrogen sulfide have been building up over time, generated by a hazardous cocktail of human and industrial waste. Suresh Magar has been a sewer worker since 1987. He always says a small prayer before he enters the manhole. <laughs> Before they enter, the workers perform a candle test. If the candle goes out, that means there is little or no oxygen and the worker won't be able to breathe. Not exactly state of the art. And even if the manhole passes the test at first, gases often get trapped within pockets in the sediment and sludge. If a worker disturbs one of these pockets, the gas is released and can cause a sudden loss of consciousness and even death. Inhalation of toxic gases can also have a serious effect on the long-term health of manhole workers. TV is a and if the fumes don't get you, there are other hazards. According to a recent study, about 80% of sewer workers die before the age of 60 and sewer workers' unions report that around 25 workers die every month. Politicians, the bureaucrats, the policy makers, all of them actually do not have any kind of a first-hand experience as to what kind of agonic life, pathetic life that this kind of a people undergo. A caste-based occupation, sewer workers are among the lowest. They are ostracized from society. Workers say the foul smell they carry makes them the shit people. Their social status in a given society is the lowest. In villages, their houses are segregated. There is a clear-cut physical segregation. 
The stigma is so strong that many workers hide their occupation from family and neighbours. For a majority of these workers, the need to escape from this reality often results in some form of addiction. They said they cannot perform this kind of occupation unless they close all their senses. You may give the devices, you may give the safety gear, you may give the suit or whatever, but you cannot allow, it is a non-negotiable. Because it is an inhuman and it is a caste-based occupation and it is a hazardous and the people are dying. But given the dynamics of India's caste system, the practice is likely to continue for the foreseeable future. I think that this is a very important ultimately 